What is up, everybody? Dan, Dan the Fireman here. This is the DFM Crew Report 002. We're going to be talking about e-bikes and motorcycles, what the MTC Rider Academy is about, uh, the ride-along with Dan and the Fireman, the, the raw DDFM videos that we're going to be posting again. And then uh, we actually have a new plan method. This is going to be that road strategy uh, acronym, whatever you want to call it, to where you can actually uh, understand what's going on. Timestamps will be in the description. Uh, quick shout-out to all of the MTC Rider Academy cadets and members. You guys get to see this early, so thank you so much. Anyways, um, so I just want to jump into it. So e-bikes and motorcycles, uh, you know this channel has been mainly, or what we do here mainly is motorcycles, I mean motorcycle training concepts. Um, but the thing is, uh, the smart rider principles can be applied to cars, you can be walking you know, your dog and still practice you know, situational awareness, fundamental skills of putting foot in front of the other. Um, bicycles uh, apply to the smart rider principles, and now there's e-bikes out there. Um, we've been playing around with e-bikes quite a bit. I have five of them and different models, different makes, uh, go pretty fast. Some have good brakes, some have mirrors, some have turn signals, some have horns and lights and whatnot. And, uh, you can go pretty, pretty fast, about 30, even more 30 miles an hour. And right now there's no real regulations or anything like that. There's no licensing. Um, the only real regulation is that you're only supposed to go a certain speed, but nobody really checks it. There's not enough enforcement, blah, blah, blah. And they're starting to get more and more inexpensive. Uh, the juiced bike that uh, that I got, I think, it was around twenty three hundred dollars. Uh, Super seventy three is for about forty five hundred dollars. And then now there's e bikes out there that are like a grand, and that sounds like a lot. But a regular bicycle, a mountain bike, a really good one, we're talking well over five hundred dollars just for that. And so if you add a little bit extra, you get something that can actually pedal for you for the most part. So we're gonna start seeing some kids, start seeing some adults commuting. Uh, kids commuting with an e-bike to school, uh, adults commuting uh, with e-bikes to work. Um, so you're going to start to see a lot of that stuff, and we're going to start seeing some some casualties, some fatalities uh, with that, especially at those speeds, because there's no real regulation for what kind of gear you should get. So that's where the smart rider principles really come in. So that's why uh, I'm going to pivot a little bit. Uh, we're going to include e-bikes into the motorcycle training that we do because there is uh, the motorized version, well, motorized aspect to it. And uh, I don't want to see kids crash and, and get hurt. Uh, it's one thing with an adult, um, but I think it's like a failure on the parent to, you know, keep their kids safe if they're giving them an e-bike and it's like, don't worry about a helmet. No. Uh, there is some mountain biking gear, uh, so elbows and knee pads. There's some full face helmets for mountain bikes. And I've been playing around with some, some of that stuff. So you'll see a little bit more about that. Uh, so we're going to be jumping in a little bit of e-bikes into Smart Rider drills. I'm going to be doing some Smart, smart Rider stuff, some, some ride along with Dan and the Fireman with an e-bike. It's going to be somewhat a little bit boring, but for the most part, we're going to find a way to make it work because uh, you're not going super fast. You're not dealing with a lot of traffic sometimes. It's mainly going to be the road surface hazards, uncommon thing in a common situation, um, a lot of uh, in neighborhood and like kind of riding to school type stuff. Um, so we're going to be seeing a little bit more of that. E-bikes, they're starting to, to jump out there. So let's go ahead and get some training for that. So uh, the next thing I want to talk about is what the MTC Rider Academy is about. First and foremost, uh, I, I follow these principles here. Awareness, accountability, action. The three A's for me. Uh, you have to be aware of the problem. You have to understand like, you know, hey, there's an actual problem. You can't be in denial. You can't, you know, you can't just 